Alistair's Elephant by Marilyn Sadler. Alistair's Elephant. Alistair Griddle was a very busy boy. He had no time for nonsense. He worked very hard at school. When he knew the answer to a question, he would raise both of his hands. He was very neat and tidy. He cleaned his room every night and slept on top of his covers. Alistair also found time to play. He was very careful to choose games that exercised his mind as well as his body. Every Saturday, Alistair went to the zoo because that was the day they offered a special admission rate for children under 10. Alistair was thrifty too. On Saturday, when Alistair was going to the zoo, it threatened rain, so Alistair took an umbrella. When he got to the zoo, he decided which animals he most wanted to see. Then he studied his zoo map, walked quickly, and stopped only once for a chocolate bar too small to spoil his dinner. He set out for home only after he had thanked the zookeeper for a most enjoyable afternoon. When it began to rain, Alistair was glad he had taken his umbrella. He was nearly home when he realized something quite surprising. He was being followed by an elephant. The zookeeper will be very worried about you, cried Alistair. You must go back to the zoo. But the elephant wouldn't go. Alistair was late for dinner, so there was nothing he could do but let the elephant follow him home. You can't keep him, shouted his mother from the window. Alistair didn't want to. He didn't have time for a pet. So he called the zookeeper and the zookeeper checked his records. There was a hippopotamus missing, but not an elephant. Are you sure it's not a hippo, he asked. Alistair was certain. There was nothing Alistair could do but eat his dinner and hope that the elephant would leave. He was so upset he couldn't eat his favorite vegetables. The elephant didn't leave that night, nor any night that week. Alistair, Alistair had a very hard time sleeping with the elephant at his window. Even though Alistair got up early, the elephant got up earlier. Alistair didn't have any privacy. He had to dress in the closet. The elephant followed him to school and caused so much excitement that everyone had to be sent home. Alistair did not get to take the arithmetic test he had studied so hard for. The elephant ate all of Alistair's houseplants, as well as his science book and his stamp collection. Alistair tried to teach the elephant how to behave. The elephant did get a little better and gave Alistair some privacy. On school days, the elephant learned to stay at home. On Saturday, however, Alistair took the elephant back to the zoo. He just didn't have time for an elephant every day of the week. The zookeeper checked his records again and found a mistake. He had been missing an elephant after all. He thanked Alistair very much. The elephant was very sad. Alistair was a little sad too, but he promised the elephant he would visit every Saturday. Then Alistair left for home. It had been a busier week than usual and, at times, it had been fun. But he was very happy to be going home to his quiet, tidy room where, at last, he could get some work done. The End